The National Animal Register says microchips are failing pet lovers. Companies like Verbeck are recording a 97% failure rate. Verbeck said the issue was due to cat doors damaging the chips, making local vets angry. So the pet doors, when they read the um, magnetic uh, collars or they read the chips themselves, supposedly they were damaging them. But I think it's more likely, looking at the numbers now, that it's a manufacturing fault. Vets have replaced over 2,000 cat and dog chips in the last six months. This is becoming an increasing issue for pet owners. We have wandering pets. Should she wander over there and someone didn't bring her back, then yeah, in that case I would really rely on them. Definitely it's quite a troublesome thought that they're not working. It's a quick five minute appointment to check pet chips to ensure that they are working so if pets do get lost they can be returned to the owner. As the main supplier of pet microchips, Verbeck wouldn't comment but are now replacing chips for free. The chips have not only been failing in domestic pets but also in large chipped animals. The only way pet owners can check their microchips is to take their pet to the local vet to get scanned. Vets are encouraging this to ensure the safety of your precious pets. TJ Amore, AUT News.